Okay, I finished caulking around here, around the ports here, and I installed the trough and caulked it on the sides, caulked it underneath, and I don't know if you can see it or not. Alright, so coming down through here, here's the end that the pipe is on. And what you want to do is run a little bit of caulking in there, work it onto the surface. Then come back with Q-tips and soapy water, like uh, dish soap. Uh, and then to cut the soapy water, you want a, some vinegar and water mixture right there. And that'll cut the soap off. So when you just put it there and dab it. And that's how I did that. It's not the perfect job, but it'll work good. Then again, under here. All right, so uh, now <clears throat> I'm going to have to go ahead and put the put the top onto the basin, and we'll check for a fit around the uh, perimeter. Okay, one more thing I did right here: we needed a handle to uh, lift this side, this top off. So what I did is I just got pieces of the angle and you'll have scrap left if you buy an eight foot piece for uh, from using for the trim. I just did that and pop riveted it right into there. And be careful you don't drill all the way through the other side there. And uh, so I didn't. Set a gauge on your drill and uh, pop riveted about two and a half inches from here to the bottom of the angle and that will be enough cl clearance for the basin and the rain molding. Okay, that's another thing right there is the rain molding. But we have to put the uh, top in the basin to do the rain molding. And then after the rain molding should be ready for glass. Alright. Okay, I put the top back into the basin. Looks fantastic. Fantastic. So, we're going to do our uh, re whoop, quick recap is uh, the handles on the sides two and a half inches from the bottom up pop rivet I've installed the trough caulked I put a mark on the far side right there for water level and uh, come around here what we got of course this is all caulked up everything is ready to go now the rain moldings I was talking about, this is a like cross section of the rain molding as it is right here. I'm going to get as close as I can and get a good shot of that. You can see that little saw curve cut in about a sixteenth of an inch. Got a 45 angle on it. This is going to be 45 here. I've cut three lengths. Uh, that's out of the 1 by 6. So we're going to cut this right here and PVC glue right there, right to the side. And it glues right to it, just like a PVC pipe. You know, it's pretty hard, uh, it's a pretty good glue joint. All right, so uh, <clears throat> I'll put this on right now. And then after this is completed, and uh, it'll be ready for the installation of the glass. So that's where we're standing right now. All right, <clears throat> after all the uh, fine tuning, we're ready for the glass. We've installed the, uh, the rain molding and caulked it along the edges and in the joints. So it looks real nice. We're going to come over here. Now what I did right here with, the, uh, with this being on here and so close, I had to... Had to cut out a little bit of the molding right here just to make it fit. Now I knew that was coming but I wanted to get this this as low as I can because it is the low end on this and I wanted to get a good fall so I knew I was going to have to trim out a little bit but uh, it's not a problem. If you got good clearance to take this off and on clears up good. Okay so say coming around Everything's caulked up and ready. The next thing, I'll be taking the top off, setting the basin aside, 
and I'll move the top back onto the bench and I'll prep the top with with boards here to stop the glass right here and here boards over here to stop the glass from coming this way and this way I'll square the uh, square the top up with the glass and put a bead of silicone all along here good thick bead probably a fat quarter inch fat quarter inch to three eighths inch bead all along the outside now bring the glass over and sit it down into the into the uh, silicone it'll bed All right it'll ooze out on the inside it'll ooze out here but that's not going to be a problem I just leave that all uh, leave that alone I've never done anything to try to pretty it up because it just ends up messing things up and uh, the little bit that oozes out there won't be a problem any that oozes out on the outside can be trimmed off with a utility knife uh, after it's cured. So that's the, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll move the top, uh, move the basin off of the bench, replace the top on the bench, so I can be able to screw things to the bench should it need to uh, um, square up uh, square up this with the glass. I'll be able to move it into position and lock it down into position, and I'll put it on there. Okay, but uh, overall, buddy, we are ready to put the glass on. Looking good. Okay, we've got to the part where we've all been waiting for is the installation of the glass, which I have right here. And onto the top. Now I've selected the side of the glass and put a piece of tape on it. This side right here is ultra clean right now and wiped on the outside edge about an inch in with lacquer thinner you go and lacquer thinner wiping all this surface right here where this is going to go now I'll show you what I've got going on here I've got a 4 by 8 bench with a plywood top so I'm able to screw anywhere I need to on this thing so what I've done is I made little blocks one by four shoved them against the corners squared the unit up on itself it's not moving come through here put a straight edge on the back because I had a little wop in the uh, board and it was showing when I had the glass and doing a test run so I've already put the glass on here and adjusted these these guides right here to exactly where the glass is going to go and then the, and then the unit is fastened uh, pinched into itself with these client with these uh, blocks right here so along with the uh, <clears throat> going to run bead of, of silicone along here a good healthy bead so I'm estimating enough to ooze out on both sides not a lot just enough and uh, take some take some uh, practice so you might want to practice on a piece of scrap somewhere and see what you do uh, how big a bead you want to need and so the next time you see that this glass will be mounted onto the top I'm not gonna, I've got to work fast and I can't waste time uh, messing with this camera and, and all like that, so onward. Okay, the glass has been installed on here. I just put it on with the uh, one man, just me, with these two uh, suction cups and my guides in place right here. Put the glass in, put it against the guides and lowered it down. <clears throat> so, as you can notice, there's a uh, oozing out of the silicone right here after this cures it'll cut right off you'll notice that it's, it's also oozed out on the inside that's what you want the seal all the way covering all that PVC comes over here does the same thing so if you're doing this and say you put this on and you notice that it isn't quite have enough silicone under here well there's a spot right there if you can see it where there's a, not enough silicone right under right under it right there there you can see it a little better you can always come back a little silicone in the gun and shoot it right under there trim it off when it's cured not a problem okay so that's it